Welcome to BTBS. This is Jay. Today, we will install OKD. Finally. So, I pushed all sources to Git repository. We will take a look at Git repository readme file and then take a look at some more documentation. Then, we will install OKD. Let's begin. OKD KVM reference architecture. This readme file explains what it's doing and how we use it. First of all, it supports Fedora 28, CentOS 7. There are two operate workflows, provision and install. Provision operate give us full installation of KVM and cloned VMs, and also DNS masquerade. Install operate floor execute the official Ansible playbook for OKD. I just separated this Ansible playbook from what I made it. So if you already have VM, you just use install operate. I developed one Python file named the jkit CLI. To use my Ansible script, I'm gonna use jkit CLI because my Ansible script provides several functions and if you want to use Ansible playbook manually, the command line gonna be long. Then we will take a look at what kind of functions and features already tested, and then we will go through full demo from scratch. JKit CLI. To use JKit CLI, we need to install click package by PIP. So first of all, you need to install that. The CLI command line syntax is simple. jkit.python and we can give three options. Deploy underscore type. There is only value we can use is OKD. But we can enhance it later, like a matrix and scale, logging, and so on. And minus minus OP. This is main operate. The default is deploy and minus minus tag. That is for a cluster tag. The cluster tag is already specified in all.yaml file, but you can override it by this option. There are four operations. First, deploy operate. This gives you KVM install, VM creation, and prerequisite for OKD. Execute prerequisite playbook by official OKD Ansible playbook, and then install OKD. This is all in one operate. Provision is for KVM install VM creation prerequisite. And install operate is good official Ansible playbook. The last one is start, stop, suspend, destroy, teardown. We can change VM state. Teardown has more steps. Destroy VM and delete VM. And delete masquerade config file and delete host from known host in SSH. I tested some script. Main command deploy install provision start stop suspend destroy teardown. Everything work fine but suspend has bug. At the moment you cannot use it. And I give you practical command as well. So if you want to deploy cluster, deploy cluster with tag you just need to copy and paste. This is a full scenario. For demo, we will use Fedora 28 and root user. First of all, we will install click package by PIP and create working directory. Then we will clone git repository. After get git repository, we will update the variable. It is from fast old.yaml file. First, tag is for class name and kvm storage pool directory. It is for where vm stored. By default, we will use home geo kvm directory, but if you want kvm default path, you just delete the line. Next, vm data directory. Every time you clone or create vm, we will store some data about the VM to that specific folder. So you can change it. Okay, the version 3.11, we will install that. If you want to install previous version, you can change it. 
However, if you want to change that, you need to change the Docker version as well. And next, we need to configure about the VMs. First, master node VM is 1, but I use 3 by default, and infra also 3, and app also 2. And I give 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte for each VM. However, it is still small. So I disable logging stack at the moment. If you create a VM with 6 gigabyte, I think it's good enough. However, 4 gigabyte is still small. And download Ansible Galaxy Roll. We already developed Ansible Galaxy Rolls, so we will use it. And then we will install OKD. We reviewed all documentation. So I will follow readme file for full demo. Then at the end, I will show you OKD installed. First of all, we will use sudo. So go to user root and then go to temp directory. And I will create working directory like uh, OKD. And we will go inside OKD. And I will clone the git repository. All right, it fast, and then go inside it. Then there are several folder and files. We will add it all YAML file. So I will use specific tag three one one like uh, twelve twenty, and then um, everything is already pre set up for my system. But I'm going to change one, two more here. First of all, I'm going to change the base image CPU core. The by default, I use two, but I will change it three. OK, and then I will download Galaxy Roll, copy and paste. Okay, looks good. And we will install OKD. It's done. So OKD installation is finished. So we will check it out briefly. First, we need to log into API server. To know the API server address, we will check it out Ansible host file. Uh, 
and we can find there is host name and we can use public host name here we'll see login if you don't have OC command line you can download from git repository there is default user joe and red hat so we already log in here just take a look at some project Docker registry and router and registry console are running. Let's see how many pods are running now. Looks a lot and just count it so 76 even though we didn't install logging there are a lot of containers are running all right we done thank you